Good evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you're uh, tuning in from. This is Vicki from Southeast Central Kansas. It's time for the Washroom Report. Hi, y'all. I pray that your day is a blessed one. Amen. Even so come, Lord Jesus. Come. Okay, let's get started here. Um, the Russia and Ukraine... The powers that be, okay, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but powers and principalities, rulers of the darkness in the high places. Amen. Okay, with all the this war that's going on, you know, there is a very large Jewish and Christian um, amount of people that live in this region, okay? Um, I saw in one report that uh, I believe it's in uh, Maripol or it's in uh, uh, Kharkiv. Um, there is, you know, it's been bombed out for the most part. Um, the synagogues there are still standing and um, there are several uh, people who are staying in Ukraine, in their land, okay, and um, they're waiting, this this was a direct quote, they are waiting for the apocalypse, okay, um, something else, okay, so there's that, but Ukraine is a major uh, exporter of wheat, barley, and olive oil, cooking oils, okay? And we're going to go to the book of Revelation. We are already seeing types and shadows, okay? Uh, Revelation 6, starting with verse 5. When the Lamb broke the third seal, I heard the third living being say come and one third nope hold on I flipped to the wrong thing and I looked up and I saw a black horse and its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand verse 6 and a voice from among the four living beings said a loaf of wheat bread or three loaves of barley for a day's pay and don't waste the olive oil and wine. In Iraq, okay, I believe it's been happening now for about a week, okay? Now these people, you know, the majority of people that live in the Middle East are very poor, okay? Um, but so far in Iraq, People are protesting, okay? Um, who knows what the numbers are, but it's a large amount of people, okay? Um, saying, how can we afford this? We can't even make our own bread. We can't afford the oil to, you know, cook our food, okay? Um, so, we're already seeing it, okay? Now... 60% of the Ukraine's export, Egypt solely relies on those exports, okay? There are 10, uh, predominantly the first three who actually uh, are the top of the 10 are Egypt, Indonesia and Bangladesh okay and also within those top 10 was Tunisia let me go to my list here Lebanon and Pakistan as well okay we're in the top 10 uh, that depend on those grains and oils okay but they are far and few, or it's so high that
that the people cannot afford it. Okay. So there's that. Now there's a fear now among Israel and the Arab, probably the Arab League of the 22 countries in that uh, conglomerate of their leaders, okay, um, that there would be an Arab Spring, okay, which is violence, death, okay, uh, just like we saw it back in uh, 2019, okay, and I know I reported on it, um, but anyway, Ramadan begins April the 2nd, you know, okay, um, month-long celebration, okay, there was yesterday on March 9th, a historic meeting, um, Israel's president, Isaac Herzog, was in Ankara, Turkey, with President Recep Erdogan, and you can go to I-24 on the YT, and you can find that for yourselves. I don't want to put it on my link, because then it connects me with my video and what I say. You know, it's all connected, okay? So, but anyway, I suggest you pray about it, then go over there and listen to what they're talking about, okay? Because it was all given in translation, okay? Uh, Erdogan speaking in Arabic and Herzog speaking in um, Hebrew. While there were massive protests going on outside against the president of Israel being given in Ankara, okay? So there's that. But in my humble opinion, this is exactly what's happening. This is the Abraham Peace Accord deal that Trumper uh, started back in 2017 with his son-in-law, Kushner, okay? Um, but anyway, um, President Herzog spoke of how um, the Arab, Jewish, and Christians have coexisted for hundreds of years, okay? And he went further, and he talked about how there was a breakdown uh, about 13 years ago uh, between the communications and uh, you know, the hostilities between their two countries, okay? And he came out and said that between the Arab and the Jews, that they decided that there will not be allowed any anti-Semitism, okay? So if you speak against Islam, okay, or Judaism, okay, um, because we know the truth, amen, we know the truth, Christ Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father except through him, period, but anyway, then he used the word xenophobia, Okay, that's one of them newbie words from the far left, tolerant, inclusive people, okay, um, that are not tolerant, okay. The tolerance of the tolerant will no longer be tolerated because they want us all to believe like they do. This is the one world uh, system globally, okay, no God no religion, no borders, okay, and 
no money. And we're going to get there. Um, anyway, the xenophobia thing is uh, the fear of someone else's culture, the way they dress, okay, grim reaper suits, masks, veils, whatever, the kippa, you know, I don't, you know, they, they're able to wear whatever they wish, just as we are, amen, um, or homophobia, okay, the fear of the alphabet soup group, 138 plus, you know, you know what I'm talking about, okay, now, I'll tell you straight up, <laughs> watching uh, Erdogan's uh, actions as these, you know, I, th I thought he was going to bite his tongue off, okay? Because I'll tell you right now, their book tells them no, just as our book tells us no, okay? But he referred to um, the Arab Jews and the Christians, okay, are all of Father Abraham, okay? Now, those of us who read our word, we know that the original covenant was made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So there's that. And then all of us who have accepted Christ Jesus as the Lord, okay? He comes from the line of Melchizedek, okay? He is the son of David, and he is the king of kings, okay? And he is the rightful heir <laughs> to King David's book. So, there was a lot of, you know, talking about restoring the two countries, you know, the peace and stability, okay, in their region, while Erdogan was pushing the two-state Palestinian solution, okay, and talking about um, trade, okay, buying and selling between the two countries, uh, including um, oil, fuel, technological, economical, at all, okay. And also, yesterday it was reported that Israel's been signing some trade deals, okay, uh, with Bahrain and the UAE, they actually signed some paperwork, okay, um, and so far, um, there have been under 5,000 Ukrainian Jews who have made Aliyah, they call it Aliyah, but they're fleeing from war, okay, and I don't know how many people that they're going to allow, but from what I've seen, um, so far, you know, they're only allowing people who already have uh, Israeli uh, passports. So there's that. And the second prime minister that is to, you know, in this joint coalition, you know, uh, Yair Lapid, uh, made a little trip to Amman, Jordan, to speak, to speak with King Abdullah Abdullah II, okay, uh, to express his security concerns, okay, at the Alaska Mosque, because the walk, okay, um, Jordan, their, their soldiers, their you know, they're in charge of that eastern portion, we're just going to say it, the eastern portion of Jerusalem, 
for now, especially right there at the mosque area, ahead of Ramadan, okay? You know, there's no details given, you know, there weren't even at this uh, little chit-chat between Herzog and Erdogan, you know, there, there wasn't any um, members of the press that I saw was allowed to ask any questions or anything, you know, it was like, Okay, we come in, we've said what we're going to say, and that's it, and that's that. Okay. Now, I want to read some of God's holy word. Amen. Okay, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 2 and 3. For you know quite well that the day of the Lord will come unexpectedly like a thief in the night. When people are saying all is well, everything is peaceful and secure, then sudden disaster will fall upon them as suddenly as a woman's birth pains begin when her child is about to be born, and there will be no escape. 1 Thessalonians 5, 8 and 11. But let us who live in the light think clearly, protected, by the body armor of faith and love, and wearing as our helmet the confidence of our salvation. For God decided to save us through our Lord Jesus Christ, not to pour out his anger on us. He died for us so that we can live with him forever, whether we are dead or alive at the time of his return. So encourage each other and build each other up, just as you are already doing. Then, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24. Now may the God of peace make you holy in every way, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless until that day when our Lord Jesus Christ comes again. God, who calls you, is faithful. He will do this. Okay? And 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16 through 18. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a, command, a commanding shout, with the call of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, First, all the Christians who have died will rise from their graves. Then, together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and remain with him forever. So comfort and encourage each other with these words. I love you guys. We have nothing to fear. Russia wants to blow up the world. We have nothing to fear. Okay. The word of God tells us 346 times. Do not fear. Okay. No fear, saints. Maranatha.